Good morning, everyone. Um, I just want to draw your attention to uh, some of the features of the church at the Star of the Sea. If you are not familiar with it, I do encourage you. There's some be great beauty here. At one stage, uh, the church at the Star of the Sea was a lot more popular for weddings than uh, Blessed Sacrament. Uh, it seems that churches are not that popular for weddings anymore either, and so it's, perhaps it's, it's related to that. But it is a very beautiful church. One of the features is that they have quite a lot of stained glass here. Um, so we do encourage you to come and have a look. I'll just move out the way a little bit so you can see those windows. And if we have a look on the other side of the aisle, there's, there's more stained, stained glass windows, and all of those have been donated to um, the church um, by different parishioners. It's, it's a wonderful um, uh, feature to come have a look. And, of course, there is um, the, the main feature at, uh, at the head of the, the uh, altar um, on the back wall behind the altar, which I think you probably are familiar with. Um, the cross that's beautifully done out uh, in stained glass. But uh, just reflecting on today's gospel, uh, we're looking at Luke's gospel today, uh, chapter 10, and uh, Jesus says the, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. And in talking about marriages uh, not being that popular these days, uh, vocations to the religious life and the priesthood also are, are declining, and the, the Pope was commenting on that. Uh, that we need to pray earnestly, not just pray for that other people will come forward, but to avail ourselves and our families and, and to encourage our, our young people to consider the religious life as a vocation and not necessarily go into something that's going to generate uh, worldly wealth. And people might say, well, I've only got two kids. I don't know if I can spare them. It was fine, you know, sort of 70 years ago when people had big families that they could say, right, you are the designated priest in the family or you are the designated nun, which I'm sure happened. Um, but uh, uh, we must nevertheless avail ourselves uh, of what God wants us to do because, indeed, uh, the harvest is rich. There's much to do, and the laborers are, are few. So we need to um, get ourselves involved with that as well. Uh, just having a look quickly at the saint of the day, it's St. Anthony of Padua. For some of you, that might be your favorite saint because you're always losing things. Well, St. Anthony, uh, Anthony is the patron saint of lost and found. Um, so uh, if you are, have been looking for something, now would be a good day to pray for it to St. Anthony. But he was an Augustinian monk uh, initially, and then he converted to the Franciscans, and um, he, he went off and he preached in Morocco. He was a very good preacher, a gentle preacher, but he was also quite uh, harsh uh, with people who were wicked. He, he had the privilege of meeting St. Francis, who was the founder of the order that he joined. So we give recognition to St. Anthony and ask for his inspiration, particularly if we've lost things today. You have a wonderful day, and keep yourself safe. We'll see you. God bless. Bye-bye.